Let's see if this shot's as good as the last one. Hmm. So there's our flow rate going down. Temperature looks good. And the flow rate's remaining nice and constant because we're doing pressure profiling there, dropping the pressure. Okay, so there's our flow rate here. It's sped up to 1.4, 1.5, that's fine. And our temperature is extremely accurate. We're within, I don't know, half a Fahrenheit. Okay, go ahead and hit stop. And that was, so we got 38 out. And if you look at the shot here, you can see this is the cooling effect of the puck, right, the grounds. We put hot water in and we were able to bring up the infusion temperature at the puck to within half a Fahrenheit for the entire time. Okay, and that shot ran from, well, it had a nine seconds pre-infusion and then it ran from nine seconds to 49, so about a 30 second shot. Uh, we did a four mils per second pre-infusion, which actually looks more like a jiggler. And then the, when we rose the pressure up, which we did here, um, the puck compressed nicely. It compressed nice and quickly. The fact that it compressed quickly means that our pre-infusion succeeded. If this stage here is quite long, um, then the puck is still absorbing water. Okay. And then right around here, we see the erosion of the puck is starting to increase the flow rate, which is adding some acidity, which you might want for balance. But, um, but if you wanted less acidity, then you would pull this here down faster. And that's what a good shot looks like. Good one.